My name is Carson. Welcome to Thrifty Garage, a channel where we do everyday repairs, how to's, and reviews. And in today's video, we'll be doing a review on this 26 gallon Fortress air compressor from Harbor Freight. This is a newer model. Uh, they also have a 27 gallon air compressor with a little bit better capacity um, 200 psi instead of the 175 psi that this has. Uh, but this one's quite a bit quieter, so we're going to do a review on this new model. And uh, I haven't seen any of the videos on this, so hopefully, this is a good uh, overview video, kind of an unboxing video. But uh, without anything else, let's. Uh, Tear into it and see what's inside. <laughs> okay, so before we unbox it, let's go ahead and kind of read the box here and show you what's inside. So this is, uh, again, the 175 PSI model. The uh, 27 gallon is 200 PSI. This one's 80% quieter, which is the main reason I went with this one instead of the, the larger 27 gallon. This one's also quite a bit cheaper. This is $350. I did pick this up with a 20% off coupon. Um, end of February, early March, they're having a sale, 20% off. If you're an insider member, the 26, the 26 gallon is this one with 80% quieter. The 27 is only like 20% quieter. I don't know what they're comparing to, but this is obviously much, much quieter from the research I did. A lot of the complaints on the 27 gallon was the noise. I saw a video from Client Graphics and he compared the 27 gallon um, Harbor Freight to the 27 gallon from Lowe's, or maybe it was a 26 gallon from Lowe's. Lowe's has a quiet model, and the Harbor Freight was way, way louder. So hopefully this one's much, much quieter. That's the main reason I got this. 40% more runtime, 15 degree cold start. You know, it's in the garage. Hopefully we don't have to deal with super cold, but it, uh, we did get down to negative 15 uh, for a real cold snap the other day. So uh, I do heat the garage occasionally, so that's good to know. And then down here on the bottom, uh, out, out of, the, of the view of the camera, we've got <clears throat> um, four and a half SCFM at 90 PSI and 1.7 running horsepower. Rotated around, another reason I want this model instead of some other options at Harbor Freight is this is the oil-free version, which is really important to me. And all the same specs and 69 decibels, which again, very, very low. It's uh, basically a talking volume, um, whereas most compressors are in the 80 to 90 decibel range, which is pretty loud, which you basically you need to have ear protection if it's on for an extended period of time. On the back, we've got a bunch of little specs. Let me zoom in here. Okay, we got a full roll cage, an insert, metal control panel. Uh, pretty nice looking. Um, hopefully this is not uh, rolling over or tipping over. We've got two brass universal couplers uh, for easy one-handed hose connection. We got 69 decibel operation, up to 80% quieter. We've got a double asterisk on there. Brushless four-pole motor, lowers heat and friction, extending pump life up to four times longer. We got a comfort grip handle for a firm, secure grip. Power cord with a caning clip for easy cord management. Includes cord and hose wrap for added convenience. 175 psi, 26 gallon tank for 40% more air tool runtime. We have eight inch by 2.4 inch solid rubber tires for easy mobility and a ball valve. And we've got a ball drain valve for easy access and fast, thorough tank drain. Okay, compared to other shop auto compressors. So other compressors in its class don't have the roll cage, and don't have the universal couplers, and other shop auto compressors don't have the lower uh, 69 decibel range, and they don't have the brushless four pole motor. That's what we're comparing here. Okay, let's go ahead and tear into it. I think we've read enough specs on here. You didn't even have to do that, I don't think. Well, we're looking at the back side. Um, so we Comes with a little manual here. Also has a little uh, hose reel. Looks like that goes right here. Those nuts are already in place. And we've got some two shaft shank bolts. Not sure what those are for. Oh, those are probably for the wheels. So really easy to open. Um, basically you just cut clips. I didn't even have to open the top. Couple clips and just lift the box right off. Has some uh, 
styrofoam the top it kind of holds all this safe and it's all ready to go where's the wheels at here's our two wheels very heavy duty okay should we put those on and you can choose what size you want your air hose on so here's a look at our rubber wheels very heavy and uh, just like solid, solid rubber, plastic combination. Okay, so we just got a little tab here for that to bolt onto. Just got a little, little bearing in there. It's not really gonna bolt flush with that styrofoam there. So we've kind of got a dish, dish wheel, and then this one's not. So the hub's kind of offset on there. This is pretty tight, right? Guess what? We did this side wrong too. So did I mention the price on this? This is uh, $350. I got it with their 20% off coupon. So $70 off. Um, the 27 gallon one, another reason I didn't want to purchase it aside from the, the noise level was this. I think it was $450 for an extra gallon and an extra 25 PSI, it just wasn't worth it to me. So my use for this is gonna be here in the, in the shop, in the garage for the landscape business. I've got equipment trailers that need to run 120 PSI. I've got a truck that needs to run 80 PSI. And a little gas station air compressor just, just can't cut it. I've got a little tiny air compressor. It'll do about 50 PSI. Um, it's just an older compressor, so it just can't keep up with what I need it to do. So uh, I wanted something that was going to last a long time, not have to worry about meeting my capacity needs. So here on the bottom we've got our drain port. To prevent serious injury, drain tank daily. Internal rust can cause tank failure and explosion. Tilt tank to drain. So you pop open this little valve. Add a little bit of air in there. Tip it back. Good to go. We've also got these little feet on here. Obviously my garage floor is not level. Okay, here's a look at our faceplate. We've got little uh, protectors on here, little plastic covers. I'll leave those on. And uh, so we got to close the drain valve down here. It says to close this down, hook up our hose, plug it in, turn it on. And I'll switch on the side here and adjust our pressure. Plug cord directly into the wall, extension cord not recommended to use longer hose instead. No, unit has auto reset. If unit automatically shuts off before reaching its cutoff pressure, turn power switch off, unplug unit, wait 10 minutes, plug in unit, then power on switch. So it's got a little circuit breaker on it. But uh, yeah, pretty, pretty slick, pretty clean. All the things are kind of protected up here with their roll cage or whatever they call this. We do have this uh, fortress handle down here uh, used to you can move it with. And obviously our, our cords right here. Cord feels pretty nice. Uh, the power switch, the on-off switch, feels a little bit cheap. But uh, so we got auto, off. That doesn't feel super quality. Uh, but everything else feels pretty quality. Um, do need to put on my little hose reel. I need to decide what side I want to put it on. I think I'm going to put it in the corner of the garage. I don't have a ton of outlets in here, but we will uh, hook it up here and see how it runs, and then we'll put it in its final destination. Okay, should we wheel it over here and see how it works? Okay, we're hooked up. Power on. on camera well, that is uh, very quiet definitely tolerable my uh, heater in the garage here is much louder than that
Okay, we're finally up to pressure. Looks like the gauge shows we're about 180. Um, and then if we twist this, we can increase our pressure. Say we were filling up the truck tires, we could go up to 80. Push it in, and then we just know we're gonna when it tops off, it tops off. Um, so that get it did seem to get increasingly louder as it got more full, which does kind of make some sense to me. And I was looking at this too. It says right here, clean air filters regularly um, or avoids warranty. We do have some heat coming out of the top here. Yeah, I mean, still extremely quiet. Um, again, much quieter than my our torpedo garage heater, uh, the diesel powered heater. Sounds like a, a turbine jet engine or something going on. So yeah, this thing is pretty quiet. Um, it did take a while to fill up, uh, but I think once it's full, now it's gonna, it, you know, if you use it, it's gonna cycle and it's gonna stay kind of topped off. Um, so hopefully that runtime is just uh, minimal. It is interesting. They want you to drain it every single day um, because that would mean that you have to release all this air pressure and then you're gonna refill all this air pressure back up. Um, or perhaps if you just open it while it's pressurized, um, you just let out a little bit of water on the bottom and then you keep most of the air pressure. I don't know. I'm not an uh, air compressor professional, but uh, there's the quick review on this Harbor Freight 26 gallon fortress. And uh, so far, I like it. I will put it to use and again, we'll do a future uh, follow up video review on it. Well, thanks for watching this review on this Harbor Freight. Fortress 26 gallon air compressor. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give us a big thumbs up. Leave any questions or comments down below. Please subscribe to the channel and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching Thrifty Garage.